Good morning, everyone. Our opening song is out of the glory and praise, which is the larger book. Number 394. 394 at the Lamb's High Feast. At the Lamb's High Feast we sing praise to our victorious King who has washed us in the tide flowing from his wounded side. Praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheathes his sword. Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed, Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Frank Serena and the deceased members of the McMahon family. For the times we fail to love God as we should, we bow our heads and ask for his mercy. For he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have made your people partakers in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he found a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all Jews to leave Rome. Paul went to see them, and because he was of the same trade, he stayed with them, and they worked together. By trade, they were tent makers. Every Sabbath, he would argue in the synagogue and would try to convince Jews and Greeks. Then Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia. Paul was occupied with proclaiming the word, testifying to the Jews that the Messiah was Jesus. When they opposed and reviled him in protest, he shook the dust from his clothes and said to them, your blood be on your own heads. I am innocent. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. Then Paul left the synagogue and went to the house of a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next door to the synagogue. Crispus, the official of the synagogue, became a believer in the Lord, together with all his household. And many of the Corinthians who had heard Paul became believers and were baptized. The word of the Lord. The response to the psalm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have won him victory. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. 
Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord says, I will not leave you orphans. I will come back to you and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father, he said to his disciples, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while and you will see me. Then some of his disciples said to one another, What does he mean by saying to us, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while and you will see me? And because I am going to the Father, they said, what does he mean by this a little while? We do not know what he is talking about. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing among yourselves what I meant when I said, A little while and you will no longer see me, and again a little while and you will see me? Very truly I tell you, you will meet, weep and mourn, but the world will rejoice. You will have pain, but your pain will turn into joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. As Jesus continues to prepare the disciples for his ascension and the coming of the Holy Spirit, we see that the ways of God are different from the ways of the world. This whole idea of he will be gone and the disciples will mourn, but the earth will rejoice because they think that the Jesus problem is over. But the Jesus problem, first of all, is not a problem, but we know that. But the problem never goes away, as we hear in the first reading. St. <clears throat> Paul was instrumental in bringing the teachings and the life and the promise of resurrection to the Gentile people, which means everyone who's not Jewish. And so had St. Paul not done this and responded in the way that the Holy Spirit asked him, how would we come to know about Jesus? We see that Jesus talks about pain, but that the pain will turn into joy. When we start to see the works of God, then indeed Psalm 98 resonates in our minds. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. And so in thanksgiving for the continued works of God in our midst, we give him praise. Trusting in the promises of God, we bring our needs and intentions before him. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the church, that we be empowered by the Holy Spirit in preaching the good news to all we meet, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For rulers of nations, may the Lord raise up courageous, honest, and forthright women and men to hold positions of power, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle with doubt or to understand God's movements in their lives, May they be led to a deeper trust through Jesus' love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph. May God console us in our struggles and fill us with his love, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Frank and the deceased members of the McMahon family, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they soon rejoice in the presence of God in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we bring to God from the silence of our hearts. Faithful and loving God, we ask that you hear the prayers we offer you today through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you my Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servant Frank, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Paul, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by, the, by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Mighty victim from the sky, health's fierce powers beneath you lie. You have conquered in the fight. You have brought us life and light. Now no more can death appall. Now no more the grave enthrall. You have opened paradise and in you the saints shall rise. Easter triumph, Easter joy, this alone can sin destroy. From sin's power, Lord, set us free, newborn souls in you to be. Hymns of glory, songs of praise, Father, unto you we raise, and to you our risen King, with the Spirit praise we sing. God bless you. Have a good day.